What a beautiful day. Um, good morning, and I want to welcome you to Andersonville National Historic Site and the National Prisoner of War Museum. My name is Gia Wagner, Superintendent of the Historic Site, and I'm joined today by Deputy Regional Director Lance Hatton. It's our profound honor to be with you today to acknowledge National POW MIA Recognition Day with our two most important partners, AXPOW and the Friends of Andersonville. We will place three wreaths to mark this occasion. I'd like to first call upon Keith Lewis, chaplain of the American Ex-Prisoners Board, to offer an invocation for our event. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for such a beautiful day, for honor the, the people in, that are interned here, oh Lord. We give you thanks for their lives and how they have benefited our country. We also give thanks for all the POWs that have returned. For this day, for this great time that we have to remember, we give you thanks. At this time, we'd ask you to send your spirit deep within our hearts so that we can do anything that you'd have for us to do. Lord, you to your most holy name that we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Keith. I'd like to invite Lance Hatton to say a few words. Good morning and welcome, friends and family, uh, to our park visitors, to uh, the friends of Andersonville and American Ex Prisoners of War. I'm Lance Hatton, it's an honor for me to be present here today. Throughout history, Americans have defended democracy here in the homeland and abroad. Hundreds of thousands have given their lives for freedom in wars against tyranny and oppression. Today, we pause on the National Prisoner of War and Mission in Action Recognition Day, Recognition Day to acknowledge the suffering and sacrifice of those who are among our bravest, courageous Americans who experience war's grave cruelties. Andersonville National Historic Site and the National Prisoner of War Museum are set aside for all of us to better understand the cost of freedom on the grounds that were consecrated by wartime prisoners. This National Park Service unit memorializes prisoners of war and honors those missing in action. They deserve our deepest expression of gratitude for their service and reverence for their sacrifice. Thank you. Thank you, Lance. In 1979, Congress and the President declared Friday, the third Friday in September as National POW MIA Recognition Day. At that time, there was and still is great concern over the over 80,000 plus service members still missing in action, <coughs> 73,000 of those from World War II. Since the establishment of the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency, our government has worked to reduce that number by identifying and returning remains for an honorable burial and to pro provide peace to families burdened with profound loss. Today, at the National Prisoner of War Museum that was designated by Congress as a memorial to all POWs throughout, throughout American history, 
And I know there are people here who really helped get this place built, and I want to thank you for that. Um, we remember today the over half million Americans who have been prisoners of war throughout history. Such a large number is really hard to wrap your mind around. But especially today, we want to remember them as individuals with families whose stories and sacrifices deserve to be remembered and shared with future generations of Americans. I invite you to take a moment with me to reflect on those individuals. At this time, I invite our three wreath presenters to place their wreaths. Our first is Colonel Wayne Waddell, U.S. Air Force retired and former POW during the Vietnam War. Colonel Waddell was shot down over North Vietnam in 1967 on his 47th mission and was a captive of the enemy for 2,070 days. He is presenting the Friends of Andersonville Reef. Wayne has served as a trustee for the Friends for over 20 years and was one of the ribbon cutters of this museum in 1998. <coughs> Colonel Waddell, please present your wreath. Thank you, Wayne. Our second presenter is Sally Morgan. Sally was a child civilian internee during World War II, where she was imprisoned by the Japanese at the Santo Tomas internment camp and Los Banos POW camp in the Philippines. In 1998, Ms. Morgan represented, represented all civilian internees as a ribbon cutter at the grand opening ceremony of the National Prisoner of War Museum. Today she is presenting the American Ex-Prisoners of War Reef, an organization where she has served on the board of directors for many years. Sally, please present your wreath. Thank you, Sally. Our final wreath presenter is Colonel David, David Everly, U.S. Air Force retired. Colonel Everly was the senior ranking officer of all POWs captured in the 1991 Gulf War. He represented that group as one of the ribbon cutters at the grand opening of the National Prisoner of War Museum in 1998. Today, he will present the wreath for all POWs and those still officially missing in action. Colonel Everly, please present your wreath. Thank you to all our wreath presenters. It's such a great honor to have you with us today. I sincerely hope you will be here to join us on April 9th at the 25th anniversary of the National Prisoner of War Museum. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Thank you so much for your attendance today.